you know, whether you realize it or not, getting into the rabbit hole of debt subconsciously probably affects people. Hi, I'm Jana from New York City. I love helping people keep some of their own hard-earned money. Could that be you? Welcome to episode for Friday's No Frills video. More than a minute, less than five. Let's talk about it. Let's jump right into it. You know, there are a lot of people who live with this little bit of a subconscious, subconscious annoying in their in their mind. They, they, this annoyance going through their mind all day long about worrying about debt collectors calling, uh, you know, bills piling up, feeling desperate, feeling helpless. Take heart, take heart. Feeling maybe like you might have made some bad decisions and it just makes you not feel so great about yourself. Listen, everybody makes mistakes. Pencils have erasers and you can take a fresh start, okay? There are places out there you could, you know, look online, call up, find out. But you have to get proactive, okay? The best thing for people to do, of course, is prevention. An ounce of prevention is worth the pound of cure. This is why I say this all the time. Don't fall into the rabbit hole of debt. Now, of course, today everything needs to be paid for, conveyed for practically, you know, with uh, a card of some sort in some way, shape, matter, or form. If you cannot handle using a traditional credit card per se, then don't then work with debit cards because that shows you that you can work within a certain amount of money. For example, there are a lot of those prepaid type of uh, cards out there. You could check into those uh, or just work with the card that is issued through a checking account and a lot, a certain amount of money that you will not go over spending. Okay. And by the way, here's another habit that maybe a lot of us can correct just because a person has funds doesn't mean they have to spend funds. Let's rewind. Let's rewind this audio mentally. Just because a person has funds doesn't mean they must spend those funds. I'm talking about extra funds. For example, uh, uh, windfall, uh, unexpected, uh, just because, you know, cash gift or a gift card. It is perfectly okay to take a breath. Yes, take a breath. Say, you know what? Isn't it nice that I got this, you know, extra funding, but do I need to spend this right this minute? Do I need to, or do I want to? Again, things going back to the wants, the, you know, versus the need kind of thing. But if you are already in credit card debt, do all you can to get out of it. You know the drill. You have to earn more money. Some people, they're at jobs and they're great at what they do. And they spend plenty of hours maybe chasing after three jobs. Isn't it maybe a greater decision to look for a higher paying job that's not going to cost you an arm and a leg to get to? Just like maybe reconfigure your manners of which you're working, okay? Which way, which manner are you working? Are you working too hard or you're not working smart enough? You have to sit down and think about that. I mean, I could go on and on forever. But the main thing I want to leave you with this Friday is this, okay? Do not get into debt. Do not get into credit card debt. And if you are in debt, please take all the necessary measures. The information is out there. You know the experts. You know their names. Check them out. And this time around, really, 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 Give a listen and then be proactive and jump into it and correct it. I know you can do it. No, no, everyone listening can do it. So there. Have a great day, everybody. Take good care now. Thank you for sharing, liking, and hopefully subscribing to this channel. Bye-bye.